Right here I have this elevated pet bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so you can see what it looks like and some of its key features. So I just opened up the box. This is everything that it comes with besides the user manual. Something that I really like about this product is that both the desk and the bowls can actually be separated so you can use these products on their own. You don't have to use it with the stand, for example, if you're going somewhere. But the thing I am the most excited about is this slow eating design, which is gonna avoid the problem with choking when eating too fast. And that's the problem that our dog has because it's right now he's just using a standard bowl and he just gobbles it all down. And so I feel like this is gonna be really nice to just kind of separate out the food and make him take a little bit more time to eat his food. I also like that this water bowl design avoids the mouth fur getting wet, which is gonna be really nice for just keeping the area that they eat and drink clean. And I also really think it's neat that you can adjust the height of this. You can use this directly flat like this on the ground. Um, if you have a smaller dog, for example, or you can put these legs out. Right over here, there is three different spots that you can adjust the height to. And I'll kind of show you some of these different heights. There are also non-slip grips on the bottom to keep this from moving around. To adjust the height, you're just gonna push down on each of these buttons and it's just gonna lower it down. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I do like that there is some space underneath just to avoid a bunch of dust collecting or like grime collecting down there. You can easily clean underneath there, so that's nice. I'm just gonna set this up. The water side has these extra little, so this drinking bowl just fits right down in here. And then we're gonna put the floating plate right here. And that's just gonna float on however high the water is. And then we're gonna put the lid to the drinking part right here. So that means that the floating plate can't actually come all the way out. It's kind of secured into there. And then the food bowl goes fits over perfectly on this side. I feel like aesthetically this looks really nice just because it is all sleek and black. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some water and some kibble to this and I'll show you kind of how the dog feeds in here. So I just wanted to show you that you can extend these legs by three different notches over here. So this is the tallest that it can go, which is really nice and tall actually. But I'm gonna put it on the lowest setting because my dog is a little bit smaller. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this with some water. I put two and a half cups of water in here and there's actually room for quite a bit more water. You can see as I push this down, it's actually just floating on top of the water, which is really nice. That way they're just gonna lick the water here in the middle and it's gonna prevent from not only splashing and splattering the water around, but also getting too much hair in their fur around their mouth and creating a big mess around here. All right, I have a cup of food. I'm just gonna put in this little food area. Okay, typically when he's eating his food, he just gobbles it all down in one sitting. And I really like that this is spacing out how quickly he eats this kibble type food. Overall, I love this food and water dish for my dog. I feel like the lowest height setting is the perfect setting for my dog's size, but I do like that it's adjustable um, if you do have a larger dog. I can definitely see the benefit in both the eating bowl and the special features of the water bowl.